has pleased God to reveal to men himself and also the mystery of his will. That is, that all men are called through Christ in the Holy Spirit and by mediation of the Immaculate to have access to the Father, union with God, to become divinized. And our Lord, as he has said, is the way. Our Lord has said he is the way, the truth, and the life. And so it is through Christ the way that we have access to the Father. But this way is not an easy way. As our Lord says elsewhere, the way to have access to the Father is narrow and difficult, while the other way towards eternal perdition is large and and is wide and easy. And this is exactly the point our Lord is getting across in the gospel today of these two who are called to follow him. <clears throat> or actually one offers himself to follow our Lord. He says, Teacher, wherever you go, I will come after you. And our Lord makes sure that this man understands what he is getting into. The foxes have layers, the birds of the sky, the birds in the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. In fact, just like this man, following Christ is the free decision of each and every one of us. But we ought to know what we're getting into, what it entails, that it is a narrow and difficult way, filled with sacrifices. And that's what our Lord means by these words, that the foxes have layers, the birds in the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. And if we, his followers, Christians, are going to follow him faithfully, we ought to expect the same as our Master. Another disciple said to him, Lord, let me go and bury my father first. But Jesus told him, Follow me and let the dead bury their dead. It's kind of an interesting statement. Let the dead bury their dead. Obviously, our Lord isn't referring to corporal death, let the dead bury their dead. But he's referring to spiritual death. That is, our Lord must have known that the family members of this man uh, did not accept his message, did not accept the gospel and did not desire to follow him. And so he says, let the dead, that is the spiritually dead, bury their dead, but you come and follow me. We have to remember also that in following our Lord, he comes first. Wherever God calls us, the will of God for each and every one of us, this comes first and foremost in our lives, even above family ties, family bonds, and the holy duty in and of itself of burying our dead. As our Lord himself bore witness just as a mere 12-year-old child when Our Lady and St. Joseph found him in the temple, did you not know that I must be about my father's business? And so today, let's have this resolve. Let's ask Our Lady to give us the grace to be faithful followers of her Son and to persevere in it until the end. Praise be Jesus Christ.